What the heck? Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my Infinity Train reaction series. We are about to start watching episode four. No, no, we're about to start watching season four. Oh, we are watching episode four, season four, episode four. Maybe that's why I said that, but I always say the season first. Anyways, we're about to start watching season four, episode four. Um, This episode is called, wow, I'm all over the place today, you guys, I'm so sorry. The Pig Baby Car, and let's get watching. I vote we keep them on. They're stylish, man. Yours has cool doodles. Mine is apparently an old person's grocery list. Fiber powder, bunion pads. Poor old people. They get such a bad rap. Wouldn't it be fun if I like wore this hat for the rest of the time we were here and you like called me Lorraine? Why? I don't know. Why do you hate fun, Min? I don't hate fun, I just... <laughs> My friends and I always say that to each other when one of us doesn't want to like go out or do something. It comes from a place of love too. <laughs> None of us bully each other, I promise. Treats for pig babies. Have you brought something tasty for what pig babies? the heck? Uh, I'm sorry. You have upset pig baby. Oh, oh I hate this. And what do pretty pigs say? Oink, oink, oink. <gasps> oh, there's a good boy. <laughs> yeah, same guys. Who's that you're with? Uh, just me, Lorraine. Kiss me, I'm a chef's hat. Kiss me, I'm a chef's hat. Are these more people that are mad at Kez? Dudes, just make the treat and we'll look for the door later. We can't have Pig Baby knowing I'm here. The cookbook is up there. <laughs> Choose wisely. You just gotta jump, man. No way, Lorraine. <gasps> Ryan, you can't just... Uh, you have to think before you do things. Wow, this little... And the final touch. Montage is such a... Oh. If I was at Dumpty's right now, Perfect I would be ashamed to serve this. In the differences in their personalities. Ew, warm banana mayonnaise salad? Oh, Americans, man. Great music, <laughs> disgusting post-war food. Oh. Oh. You forgot the lettuce, oh, and it's cold. <laughs> Custard does not have beef floss. This episode of Infinity Chef. Zippers are not a food. Hey, you gotta respect <laughs> someone trying to innovate in their field. No, Lorraine, I don't. Try oh. again, and perhaps oh. try finding something simple. Maybe when I was here last time, I put a bunch of butter in the microwave, set it for five minutes, forgot, and like, maybe all the butter melted. And then you what, left? Or what, stay in the kitchen forever? I am not about to turn the clock back on women's lib, man. <laughs> Listen, Kez, I like where your head's at, but this is not right. It's still butter, right? <sighs> Ew! Oh, okay. okay. They're done. Shouldn't the toothpick be clean? Yeah, the nah, that would mean they're too dry. They need to be kind of fudgy in the middle. Because, because otherwise, it'd just be a cake. cake. Look who's suddenly the brownie expert. <laughs> it was in the recipe book. Huh? Oh, your numbers went down. Um, cool. <gasps> you learned to slow down. You're the one who was meant to be on the train, not me. Oh, I didn't know. I wouldn't have made you follow me if... Ah, I forgive you. Huh. Uh-huh. Maybe the lesson didn't stick. Maybe you need to prove you learned it by doing it again in the future. I... Guess. Uh, Minky. Ready to give a treat to a fussy baby? Is there no part in his mind that thinks it could be him too? I've never seen big baby so delighted by Ugh. a treat. <laughs> it's like a scary Miyazaki no. film character. No. What? No. He's happy now, so we're gonna exit. <laughs> oh, it's in his mouth. <laughs> big baby ate the exit. That's legitimately terrifying. Uh oh. Butter Kez! Kez melted all of Pig Baby's yummy butter! Okay, Pig Baby, like we're all just adults 
bullets here, so let's just... Ah! <laughs> Don't push yourself, man, because it's not about the desk or something. It's about the whatever. Yeah, you can't help it if you have a lot to learn. <laughs> All three of them are a mess. Wow, and I thought Min was the smart one. I can't believe that he so easily decided that this was just on Ryan and that the numbers couldn't possibly, maybe have something to do with him too. I think both of their egos need knocked on a peg. And Kez! is such a disaster. We haven't been in a single car yet where she hasn't made somebody mad. I'm trying to decide at this point if we can even trust her. In episode three, we saw a picture of her roommate who is a human, which I also find interesting because as far as I can remember, the only humans that we come across on the train have numbers. So either he's like Grace and Simon from last season and wants to stay on the train, or maybe his number has gotten so big that he's not even trying, or maybe Kes did such a terrible job explaining things to him too that he doesn't even realize it's an option to get off the train. But yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to meeting this Morgan character because I think in meeting him, we will also learn more about Kez. Question for the comment section. Are you more of a Ryan or a Min? I am definitely more of a Min. There was a moment in this episode where Ryan jumped off of the platform up to the cookbook with absolute fearlessness. Whereas it took Min a second to warm up to that idea and I relate to that so much. Although I suppose everything in life is relative. I've had certain family members and friends tell me that they admire my bravery. I just think it's a different kind of brave. I follow my dreams, which is similar to Ryan, but I have a constant anxious chatter that's in my head trying to tell me that I've made all the wrong decisions and I always will. I don't know if that's too much information, but <laughs> let me know your answers in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full-length reactions, early release to my videos, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash alishadweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.